Hi! It's the end of the year, and every now and then I like to repaint an old work of mine to see how much I have improved. So today we're just going to do that, while giving some tips that help me improve. Some of these might feel small, but these are the bread and butter of my everyday workflow. But I'm not going to go through the obvious ones, like use reference, flip canvas, practice anatomy, etc. that you have already heard, most likely. So here are five tips for digital art that made the biggest difference to me. One, stop zooming into your work. This might seem obvious, but when you are focusing on too small of a part of your painting, you lose the whole image. When you do that, you end up easily with values, colors or proportions feeling off. You end up in the detail loop, where you zoom into your work, it looks fine, but when you zoom out, it, <laughs> it looks awful. To fix this, try to stay away from zooming. If you need to get close and add those fine details, use the two window technique, keeping the other window always in full to see how your small details show in the full picture. Two, use a big brush to give yourself a base. We usually start to render too early in the process. And as we know, if your base is wonky, it's hard to build on top of it. So before starting the render, apply your colors and values using as big of a brush as you possibly can. Yes, it looks rough first, but squint your eyes. If it feels natural, you are on the right track and you can start rendering. You already have the values and colors, so even when rendering only certain parts, it is consistent and will give you a much better base. Pro tip on this, lock your layers or use a clipping mask layer, you know, to not go over the lines when doing this. Three, use brushes that work for you. This is a tricky one, but it comes to this, use the right tools. If you want smooth porcelain skin, don't use textured brushes. Pick your tools to support what you want. Research what style you're going for and what are the tools for that. Find artists who have elements in their work you'd like to achieve. And if they have brush packs, test them, explore it, have fun with it. But second, you don't need a crazy amount of brushes. Start with a couple and expand from that. Having too many options can make your process hinder. I use around 5 brushes throughout my whole painting. If you'd like to try mine, there's a link to download them for free. 4. Plan your lighting ahead. Okay, this, this does go a bit on the half reference part. But, to elevate your painting, lighting is your BF. Like in photography, light makes or breaks the photo. Too often most of us, at least I did, started painting and midway felt confused because my shadows were all over the place. Light defines shapes and gives overall mood to the piece. And if it's off, our lizard brains will know it even if they can pinpoint it. So plan. Find references and mark where the light is coming from to keep the lighting cohesive. 5. Stop using black and white. This is color theory 101, but I see a lot of people doing this when painting. Shadow has color. It is never just black or a wash of black. Our environment reflects light which gives color to the shadow. Yay! <laughs> Unless you have a pitch black environment, it will make the colors feel muddy then. The same goes for highlights. Unless you have ultra shiny material with white light. So to help you learn this, pick a painting and try to match colors without color picking. You might be surprised how different the colors are from what you thought. And ta-da! 6-1! Extra 1! Woo! <laughs> Always start with a warm-up sketch. Uh, do warm-up sketch before starting a painting. At least for me, every time I sketch, I notice that the first one starts a bit wonky. And it is normal. You need to warm up your hand. 
It also makes you feel more relaxed and not afraid of the white paper. Woo! And we're done! <laughs> Those were the five tips that helped me elevate my work to kind of like a next level. It's all about the basics, but I hope this helped. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you would like. Thank you so much. Love ya! See you in the next one. Bye!